Welcome to the Regrid Property app. Today we're going to cover how to make and save a project. Projects are very useful because they allow you to organize your data and to return to it later. For example, if you're working to find properties of interest in a certain county, you could save your filter and the place in a project and return to it just where you left off at any time in the future. So to create a new project, upon signing in, you typically find yourself at your dashboard. You'll note that the default view on the dashboard is of all the projects that you currently have. Uh, when you create one, they'll be added to this list. To get started creating a project, I would first click go to the map and then set your place. So here we are, where, now that we're in the map, uh, you can use the search bar to find the city, zip code, county, you know, address, uh, place of interest, wherever you want to be for the project and zoom there that way. You can also, of course, manually navigate. For the purposes of this, I'm going to uh, assume that I actually want to be working in this subsection of San Francisco. So once you're at your place of interest, it's time to create the new project itself. Up at the top of the toolbar is the project tab. And when you click that, you're prompted to create a new project. Clicking that will ask you to give it a name. Let's call it new project example and click create. And so now we've made this project. Uh, you can change the boundaries if you want, although you should have set uh, the one that you wanted previously. Uh, we do have a bounds tutorial video if you want to get more information on how to change places. Uh, but let's assume that it's all set up the way that you want place-wise. So from here, you can go ahead and work as you want to. You can uh, click and uh, follow properties. You could apply a filter or a style. I'll do a quick example filter here. Say I want to find vacant lots here. Now we've identified vacant lots. Uh, and I'm going to say, let's say that we want to save this now so that I can return to it. I'd go back to the Projects tab, and then I would click Save. Uh, you can see that it says here I have unsaved changes, so that would prompt me to save. So I'll click that. And now I could return to this project if I click away from it, which I'll do quickly here to show you. So if I go back to my dashboard, uh, you can see my new project shows up here with the place that we've set. And if I click back to it, it should zoom me back to that place as well as show me the filter that I have applied. 